Hi, it's John Kenlopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Ambulatory Surgery Center, Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology, NYU Medical School. Proud student of the late Klaus Dolman. We lost Klaus at 101 years old this year, but we still celebrate the life, the work, and the teachings of this great man. And I will jump directly to a uh, young, uh, in relation to Klaus, this is a 76 year old pediatrician that we were able to help by performing uh, a repeat dissect, endothelial keratoplasty and cataract surgery. Uh, she had a previous um, dissect surgery done elsewhere. And this is how we picked her up uh, with uh, a very significant brown cataract and a failed graft and uh, I will uh, show you the video of the procedure, some highlights uh, from the procedure. And this is us, of course, doing the capsulorexis. Nothing looks very uh, difficult until this point and until we start to emulsify this very, very dense lens. Just to note here, although we, were, we would follow up with a, a dissect procedure, we used close to 600 joules of energy. But I'm still a believer that this uh, is a better option for the patient instead of doing an extra cap procedure, which would have left uh, the cornea with significant astigmatism. Uh, we're going to use a very laborious, and sometimes I wonder why I challenge myself with such cases. Um, and I'm gonna jump here uh, to a later stage where we're picking up uh, the segments, very careful, a lot of uh, viscote, Besides the fact that uh, we know we're gonna remove the endothelium, you can see these very dense pieces of uh, uh, dense nucleus on this uh, uh, retired pediatrician. Uh, and to note, it's her only eye, her, her other eye sees only 2200. She was count fingers in this eye due to a uh, uh, penetrating keratoplasty and severe glaucoma. Fortunately, this eye is better with glaucoma she had um, pseudo exfoliation, which uh, makes this procedure challenging as well. Um, uh, we'll jump again here to a further stage. Maybe it went a little bit too much. Um, we're uh, removing the last uh, dense segments of uh, nucleus. Uh, very careful and not uh, damaging the posterior capsule and we'll fulfill the procedure. We'll reach the point here to have a very nice procedure, a uh, no vitreous prolapse, but uh, we do have um, uh, the ability to use a toric lens. And uh, since uh, we have keratometries beforehand, surface keratometry here, not pendicam, because as we noted, she has a dissect surgery, we're gonna use a toric lens even in this case. So this is our toric lens um, and uh, our go-to lens, the uh, Alcon Clarion. And uh, we're going to implant uh, the lens in a similar fashion, like with any uh, cataract procedure, remove the viscoelastic very copiously, come in and uh, use our um, anterior chamber maintainer. Um, as we will see here, first tree find the pre-cut cornea that we received from cornea gen to your chamber maintainer uh, at some point here. And then we're going to go and uh, dissect the uh, decimates memory. We can see how nicely after scoring circularly with a reverse Sinsky hook, um, uh, we're carefully removing the um, endothelium, damaged endothelium, and the thickened decimates membrane uh, to come uh, and uh, complete uh, with my friend Massimo Busin's uh, ingenious spatula, prepare the graft that we had ordered the graft to be about 100 microns, and it is indeed, and we're going to place the endothelial graft uh, in place. Uh, ran a little bit fast here. Uh, this is the magic moment of endothelial keratoplasty, and I'm so happy. Uh, so many years after my first transplant in 1993, in the Northport VA, under the direction then of uh, the now friend and then mentor, Eric Donafield, 
I put my first cornea sutures in a penetrating graft. Now we have the ability of doing an endothelial graft. We're going in with the retinal forceps to grasp the graft, come in with a spatula. Poor visibility here, the microscope has moved, but in essence, uh, we just wanna show the maneuver that the uh, uh, endothelial graft will be pulled in, the dissect graft placed in position, and then uh, bubbled in place, as we can see here, tap with the backside of uh, our uh, WEC uh, sponge. And to reach the point today, uh, to enjoy uncorrected vision with the TORC IOL of 2025. And this is really uh, the work of a whole team. We wanna thank the Seattle team for sending us such an impeccable dissect graft. All the attention we gave to remove uh, the cataract and re uh, retain a uh, intact capsule bag, uh, despite the fact that we used 600, almost 600 joules of energy, uh, we're able through my standard 135 degree incision here, put a toric lens and be able to also address touristy and go from here to here. And this, nothing more, rather makes me happier than uh, seeing a, a fellow physician uh, enjoying good vision. She's ready to uh, hop on a boat. We're in August, go to her island and enjoy her summer with her uh, kids and grandchildren. And this is what we work for. Uh, I thank you very much for your attention. And again, a little glimpse into some of the most challenging cases that we treat.